Unfortunately, the art of silence has been lost in our busy world, where noise and talk are always present. But what if the times we choose not to speak were just as powerful as the times we do? How often do we stop and think about what our quiet means? Stoicism is an ancient philosophy that teaches people how to control themselves through reason and emotional strength. It's a great way to learn when to speak. Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, said, It's better to trip with the feet than with the tongue. This wise saying brings up a basic question. How many times have we felt bad about saying something in a hurry or out of anger? Stoicism doesn't just tell us not to do things. It teaches us to use silence as a tool for growth and peace. Imagine facing life's challenges with the calm confidence that your silence speaks louder than any words ever could. Stoic philosophy teaches that silence isn't just the absence of speech, but a deeply felt response that has been carefully chosen. It is an active, powerful force, a strategy that can help ease disagreements, protect us from harm and help us understand. But when exactly should we embrace silence? Together we'll explore nine key times that choosing silence is not only smart, but also life-changing. As we go deeper into these lessons, think about how practicing stoic silence might change the way you deal with others and your own peace of mind. What if you could end a heated argument with calm, measured silence instead of harsh words? What might a quiet pause say about your feelings and thoughts? Come with us as we explore the powerful times to embrace silence and let the wisdom of Stoicism guide us. Are you ready to learn more about the deep knowledge of Stoicism? Let's begin. Number 1. When being criticized unfairly According to Stoic philosophy, being unfairly criticized is a unique chance to become stronger and show integrity. Marcus Aurelius once said, If something outside of you bothers you, it's not the thing itself that's hurting you, but how you think about it. He also said that you can change how you think about something at any time. The insight here is that what bothers us about criticism is not the criticism itself, but how we see and respond to it. Think about this. How might changing how you see criticism make you stronger? Can you think of a time when staying calm in the face of unfair criticism changed the outcome? For example, if you are leading a project at work and your boss criticizes it harshly, a stoic response would be to calmly look at the feedback and find useful insights while ignoring any negative information that isn't based on facts. Epictetus said that this way of doing things will not only keep your peace, but also maintain your professional honor. Don't just talk about your theory, live it. To live by philosophy, you have to respond with calm, well-thought-out responses instead of defensive ones. Let the quality of your responses and, ultimately, your work speak for itself. Not responding when unfairly criticized is not just a passive act, it's a strategic one. Embrace Stoicism's call to focus on what we can control, our responses and attitudes, this quiet strength turns possible conflict into a sign of your personal strength and philosophical dedication. As you face life's difficulties, think about how silence can help you. What chances might come up if you choose thoughtful silence over impulsive speech? How might this practice improve your own peace of mind and also affect those around you? By incorporating stoic principles into our daily lives, especially when we are unfairly criticized, we align ourselves with a philosophy that values strength of character over the temporary approval of others. This promotes personal growth and inspires others to do the same, especially in today's world where boasting and self-promotion often drown out humility. Stoicism 
tells us to embrace silence. Marcus Aurelius says, don't waste time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. In this light, think about how silence in response to boasts can turn a potentially ego-fueled environment into a place of self-reflection and growth. There will always be criticism in life, and it can often be a good way to learn and improve. But criticism isn't always fair, even when it's meant to hurt someone. In these kinds of scenarios, it can be hard to stay calm and act in the right way. Stoicism, a philosophy that began in ancient Greece, offers timeless advice on how to handle rude criticism with class and grace. By following Stoic ideas, we can turn bad things that happen to us into chances to grow as people and become stronger inside. What matters is not what happens to you, but how you react to it. This is the Stoic principle. When someone criticizes you unfairly, take a moment to think about what to say. This keeps you from acting on impulse and gives you time to think about what's going on without getting upset. Separate the criticism from yourself. As the Stoic said, you control your mind, not events outside of it. Know this, and you will be strong. Understand that unfair feedback only shows how the reviewer feels or what they think, not how good you are or what you can do. You can see the criticism more clearly if you separate it from who you are. There may be a small amount of truth in even the most unfair judgment. Look for any helpful feedback that is hidden in the unfairness. Take this as a chance to improve yourself and get rid of the negative thoughts that aren't necessary. When someone criticizes you unfairly, stay cool and polite. This not only shows how strong and in control you are, but it also keeps things from getting worse. A calm answer often calms down the reviewer and shows that you are an adult. Take care of your own growth. Stop focusing on unfair criticism and turn your attention to your goals and personal improvement. You can rise above the bad things that happen and keep moving forward on your path by focusing on your own growth and virtues. It can be hard to deal with unfair criticism, but if you follow stoic principles, you can turn these situations into chances to grow and become stronger. Remember to take a moment to think. Separate the criticism from your own worth. Look for any sliver of truth. Reply with calm and respect and keep your attention on your own growth. In this way, you live up to the stoic ideal of staying calm and strong inside, even when things are hard outside. Number two. Stoic silence in the middle of boasts. Imagine you're at a networking event where a co-worker is bragging too much about their recent raises and fancy lifestyle. You might want to counter their bravado with your own accomplishments. Stoicism teaches us the power of restraint. If you choose quiet, you keep your cool and let other people's words show you who they are. This way, you can save your energy for deeper conversations. This method not only protects your honor, but also makes you look like someone who is sure of their own achievements and doesn't need outside approval. In this theory, silence is not a sign of passivity. Instead, it is a sign of strategic silence that shows knowledge and confidence. Another wise Stoic says, he who does not wish to be outnumbered by greater benefits should not return one benefit with another. He should return many at once. In real life, this means that you should not respond to empty boasts with words, but with the quiet grace of your actions and the quality of your character. How often do you find yourself responding to someone else's success story with one of your own? What might happen if you instead chose to listen fully acknowledging their accomplishments with a nod or a smile, while keeping your attention on your own virtues and goals. Accepting stoic quiet in the middle of boasts 
is a way to live a life not marked by competition, but by happiness and inner success. It creates an atmosphere where one can thrive peacefully and successfully based on genuine self-worth rather than comparative measures. Please think about this lesson and use what you've learned in your daily life. How could accepting quiet make your life and relationships better? Please write about your ideas and stories in the space below. Let's work together to make each other's lives more peaceful, happy and successful. Number 3. When dealing with anger. When we're angry, it can feel like a wild storm that can sweep away all reason and calm. But in the middle of this storm, Stoic philosophy offers a safe place to be, a moment of silence that helps us deal with these strong feelings. Epictetus, a famous Stoic figure, said to keep quiet most of the time and only speak when you have to. Imagine a day at work when a co-worker's mistake causes you hours of extra work. Your first instinct might be to lash out in anger, but what would happen if you chose silence instead? By not reacting in anger, you give yourself time to think about the situation more objectively. This pause can stop the conflict from getting worse and lead to constructive solutions instead of heated arguments. Think about it. How often has reacting quickly in anger made you regret your words or actions? What could be different if you took a moment to calm down before speaking? Marcus Aurelius, another well-known Stoic, advises in his writings, How much worse are the results of anger than the things that make people angry? This thought makes us consider what happens after we get angry. Most of the time, the effects of an angry outburst are worse than the thing that made us angry in the first place. Think about Nelson Mandela, a famous leader who, even though he had been jailed for years, decided to forgive his abusers instead of getting angry. This decision not only improved his own life, but also led a country to reconciliation. Using silence when you're angry doesn't mean hiding your feelings. It means choosing a response that is in line with your best self. This practice not only improves your own peace, but also leads to better relationships and a more successful life. As you deal with the inevitable frustrations of daily life, remember that silence can be your sanctuary, a place where wisdom rules. Adopt it, and you may find that the quiet response is not only the most profound, but also the most powerful. Anger is a normal feeling that everyone experiences at some point in their lives. However, anger that isn't under control can hurt relationships and your own health. Stoicism teaches useful ways to control anger by focusing on self-control, clear thought and inner peace. Number 4 Silence amidst unfounded rumors. When people talk to each other, stories are like leaves caught in a gust of wind. When these rumors aren't true, they can cause harm and confusion. Stoic philosophy gives us a strong answer, quiet. Think about the story of a teacher in a small town who was wrongly accused of misconduct. As rumors spread through the community, the teacher chose not to add to the heat by denying or explaining what happened. Instead, she relied on her honesty and integrity to stand firm. This silence is not a passive surrender, but a smart decision based on wisdom. Marcus Aurelius said, You hold power over your thoughts, not over outside events. Understand this, and you will be strong. How often have we seen quickly spoken words make things worse? How might silence protect you from the arrows of false accusations? By refusing to comment, the teacher let the community's initial excitement die down. As time went on and no new proof came to light, the truth became her defense. This shows the stoic belief that you should focus on what you can control 
your reactions and actions instead of worrying about how stories spread which you can't stop. Epictetus once said that if someone says bad things about you, you should always compliment them. This approach not only diffuses tension, but also demonstrates your strength and confidence in your own character. Number 5. In the face of provocation. Provocation can come in many forms. An irritating colleague, an aggressive driver, or a sarcastic comment on social media. In these moments, our natural instinct may be to respond immediately and assertively. However, Stoicism teaches us the power of choosing silence as a response to provocation. Imagine a situation where a co-worker tries to undermine your efforts during a meeting by making a disparaging remark. The impulse might be to retaliate, but what if you chose to remain silent instead? By not engaging in a reactive exchange, you demonstrate control over your emotions and maintain your composure. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, reminds us that it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is, poor. This applies to our reactions as well. Craving the last word or a sharp retort often leaves us poorer in terms of peace and dignity. Silence in the face of provocation not only preserves our integrity, but also disarms the provocateur, often leading to a more thoughtful and respectful interaction. Number 6. During moments of overwhelm. Life can often feel overwhelming, with constant demands from work, family and personal obligations. During these times, the stoic practice of silence can serve as a sanctuary for our mind. Consider a parent juggling the responsibilities of work and home, feeling the weight of expectations from all sides. Instead of succumbing to the pressure and reacting impulsively to every demand, taking a moment of silence to breathe and reflect can provide clarity and calm. Marcus Aurelius advises, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This retreat into silence allows us to prioritize our actions and responses, making choices that align with our values and long-term goals rather than being driven by immediate pressures. By embracing silence amidst chaos, we create a space for mental rejuvenation and thoughtful decision-making. Number seven, when experiencing grief. Grief is a profound and deeply personal experience. In times of loss, words often fall short in capturing the depth of our emotions. Stoicism encourages us to embrace the silence that comes with grief, allowing us to process our feelings without the need for constant verbalization. Think about someone mourning the loss of a loved one while well-meaning friends and family may offer words of comfort, sometimes the most healing moments come in shared silence. This silence respects the gravity of the loss and provides a space for genuine emotional expression without the constraints of conversation. Epictetus reminds us that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By allowing ourselves to sit in silence with our grief, we acknowledge our pain and begin the process of healing, honoring our emotions in a way that words often cannot. Number eight, when reflecting on personal growth. Personal growth is an ongoing journey that requires introspection and self-awareness. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of taking time for silent reflection to assess our progress and align our actions with our values. Imagine setting aside a few moments each day to reflect silently on your actions, thoughts and intentions. This practice, often referred to as journaling or meditation, allows you to evaluate your day, recognize areas for improvement 
and celebrate your successes. Seneca's words, as long as you live, keep learning how to live, highlight the continuous nature of self-improvement. Silence during reflection provides the clarity needed to understand our motivations and make deliberate choices that foster personal development. By integrating regular periods of silent contemplation, we nurture a mindset of growth and resilience. Number 9. When Seeking Wisdom Wisdom often comes from listening and observing rather than speaking. In a world where everyone is eager to share their opinions, Stoicism teaches the value of silence as a path to deeper understanding and insight. Consider attending a lecture or engaging in a conversation with a mentor. Instead of focusing on how to respond, practice active listening and allow silence to absorb the information fully. This approach not only shows respect for the speaker, but also enhances your comprehension and retention of the knowledge being shared. Marcus Aurelius advises, to understand the true quality of people, you must look into their minds and examine their pursuits and aversions. By embracing silence, we create the mental space to truly observe and learn from others, cultivating wisdom that goes beyond superficial understanding. Conclusion and Final Thoughts In a world that often prioritizes noise and constant communication, the wisdom of stoic silence offers a powerful counterbalance. From dealing with unfair criticism and boasting to managing anger, unfounded rumors, provocation, overwhelm, grief, personal growth and the pursuit of wisdom, silence serves as a profound tool for navigating life's challenges. Stoicism teaches us that silence is not merely the absence of words, but an active choice that reflects strength, self-control and inner peace. By choosing when to speak and when to remain silent, we gain control over our reactions and create opportunities for deeper understanding and growth. As Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus have shown us, the strategic use of silence can transform conflicts, protect our integrity and foster an environment of respect and reflection. Incorporating stoic silence into our daily lives allows us to respond to situations with calmness and thoughtfulness turning potential conflicts into opportunities for personal development and stronger relationships. Whether faced with criticism, anger or the chaos of modern life, embracing silence can lead to a more peaceful and fulfilling existence. As we reflect on these lessons, let us remember the profound impact that thoughtful silence can have on our interactions and inner well-being. By practicing stoic silence, we not only cultivate our own character, but also inspire others to find strength and peace in quiet moments. In a society where words are often used carelessly, let us harness the power of silence to speak volumes about our wisdom, strength and resilience. By doing so, we honor the timeless teachings of stoicism and pave the way for a more mindful and harmonious life.